avoid that happening in future and looking ahead to Christmas when of course families will want to gather in numbers the Prime Minister says the only way to make sure we're able to enjoy Christmas is to be tough now so if we grip it now he says stop the surge arrest the spike stop the second hump of the dromedary that is what we need to do it's to increase capacity but the issue at the moment even if there are new testing labs created is are there enough staff to work in those labs struggling to get those to, to get those two elements together really that's going to be the biggest challenge ahead for the next couple of days weeks and months john thank you very much for that let's pick up on some of those themes now we've got this curfew the thinking now amongst many people is that is the direction of travel in terms of what measures will be put into place in those areas that have problems and clearly that is one of the things that could be brought in well, you're absolutely right. If you look at Bolton, it is one of the things that's been brought in there. So, yes, it is the sort of thing that is being considered, it's being looked at. But I don't want to, as I say, say what exact menu of measures will be put in place. But you're right to highlight that. It, this is not about telling people who've got symptoms not to get a test. It's about who, in a sense, we're prioritising to make sure they can always get a test. The frontline workers in the NHS, in care, whose priority groups, essentially meaning there are no other tests left for um, Mr and Mrs Smith who may develop symptoms. That's not going to be the case. Firstly, because we have two developed symptoms and who want to get tested because they need to get back to work or get back to normal life. But we seem to be going around in circles in this, and it has happened before, where it's almost as if you are blaming people who are trying to do the right thing by getting a test for the problem in the system. No, no one's blaming people for that. I think it's a statement of fact as to why demand is has significantly gone up and that and actually travel along the road network which is going to be a lot more windy and take longer that's why at the moment the secretary of state asked the team to look at how we can make that figure um, more accurate or more reflective of actually the real life experience that people will have getting in a car and traveling rather than as you say as the crow flies that's that's the easy way of calculating but of course okay, we need just, to make it meaningful for people just one last thought for you a lot of people hearing what you're saying this morning and look at those figures and the problems with testing will be thinking it feels inevitable that we are going to some form of national lockdown. Can you rule that out? You heard what the Prime Minister said um, yesterday and his... Um, so, as the crow flies. Yeah, you're absolutely right to highlight this sentence. I think anecdotally, the Secretary of State said, appeared to be going for tests when they weren't eligible. But more importantly, it's up to us to address the supply side issue and make sure we increase that capacity. That's Just what we're doing. Just two last thoughts, if I may. Uh, the, yeah. the figure you're talking about, about the distance travelled, average distance travelled by people to testing centres, you'll have heard some very harrowing stories about people who have to try, mm. uh, travel miles or being offered tests miles away. Is that a... Is that a road mileage or is that as the crow flies? Because some so people are yeah. saying that's a, as the crow flies. Yeah, you're absolutely right to highlight this, Which Charlie. It's, um, it's come down from just over six miles to 5.4 and it is um, because of the way the um, is it, is it calculates it, it's as the crow flies. I was just answering that, Charlie. It's as the crow flies and clearly that is different. How you rule that out? You heard what the Prime Minister said um, yesterday and his um, piece in, uh, in the press today he's been very clear that is not something he intends to do it's not something he intends to see and the key to making sure that doesn't happen is people adhering to the rule of six adhering to the regulations. i know it's tough this has been an incredibly tough year for everyone with huge sacrifices made by individuals by businesses by families um, and the message is very clear if we stick to that if we stick to the hands face and space um, guidance we can avoid further local restrictions, we can avoid, avoid further national restrictions. Prime Minister's clear, he doesn't want to see it and it's not his intention to see that. Edward Arger, Health Minister, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Charlie. It's 17 minutes to eight, good morning to you. Uh